All right, let's talk a little bit about some of the insanity that's going on in the crypto world right now and Bitcoin space, and then make a couple predictions and calls for what I think is really going on. All right, so we'll do this in a little Zoom video. And, you know, BS, the Bitcoin Association, all right, I'm, I'm just going to refer to them as the Bitcoin Association. They just put out a tweet talking about how the uh, the BSV blockchain is is now putting out a transaction of 80, I'm sorry, a, a maximum of 86 billion. Let me share my screen on this. It's not, it said uh, the only blockchain that can process 86 billion transactions in 24 hours. Embracing blockchain capacity. Blockchain index highlights networks leading in scalability and impressive daily transaction capacities. So apparently that's, uh, that's the amount of emails that were sent in 24 hours in 2023. More, more emails in that are sent in a day in the UK in 2023. Apparently in transactions, though, in the way of a daily amount uh, for like actual money transactions, it's just, um, it's not even close to anything else. So now if you, they've got a, kind of a, a, a number here where the number of transactions on ETH apparently is two, two and a half million and then BTC 603,000 in a day. Now let's just look at the kind of the silliness as to what's going on here, all right? So you got this uh, this thing called meme, M-E-M pool dot space. And this is a, this is gonna show you the, uh, the Bitcoin core BTC transactions and what's going on. All right, so if I click on the most recent block here, which is nine minutes ago, Foundry USA, which is it's happening right now. It says 1.56 megabytes. Block 841031. Hash time. It's going to show me how many how much the transactions fees were per uh per transaction. So here's one. We've got a transaction here. $58 in transaction fees. Here's another one. $75 in transaction fees. This one here, $58, $39, $70, $104, $65, $65, $65, $65, $75, $82, $82. These are all the amounts of transaction fees alone. So people who think they're sending, you know, getting transactions, you know, wondering why their transactions aren't getting processed and they're doing something for a smaller amount, um, there might be uh, this, you may want to do some research to show, show I say, why? Look at these are all larger transaction fees per uh, per transaction. All right, so it does say that the median transaction fee is 3.25. The total fees on this block is, is 40,000. So in hindsight, I mean, $3.25 for a, a transaction fee, is that, is that good? I, huh. In hindsight, imagine if you could just pay a fraction of a cent, basically nothing. Why would you want to pay three dollars and twenty-five cents? Just to be on is it is it a name thing? While we got the zoom going, let's just take another look at another another website, coin.dance. Shows you the uh the different versions of uh, the Bitcoin uh protocol and the prices, hash rates, blocks, and then it shows the the amount the the cost so it's eight hundred thousand percent eight hundred thousand times more to transact on B BTC than it is for the BSV chain profitability it's thirty two percent more profitable to mine on BTC right now accordingly so apparently uh, things are just nuts now a couple of other things that that I got to bring up. Before I go back to the camera, I just want to just draw your attention back to this. This amount of transactions. What is really going on? Well, nobody's talking about this. Let me tell you right now. Nobody, you know, you're not going to hear anything about these amount of tra transactions. No one cares about this. But some, the plumbing, the plumbing for this entire network is clearly being built right now. It's, it's, it's being cranked. Something's up. Now, let me go back here to, uh, to the camera. So, what it looks like to me in the way of uh, kind of predictions and calls, and this is just definitely not financial advice or legal advice, but you know, apparently there's a there's some 
I've noticed just from following people, these are ETH people and Solana people, that they are uh, flooding the BTC chain. They're basically, it's under, uh, the, the Bitcoin core chain, it's basically under attack right now. And there's posts from a bunch of people like showing what's happening. And not only was the, uh, the runes thing a major, you know, pressure on the chain, but they are truly putting it under major pressure right now on transactions. And the word is, is there, uh, it's just under, it's under a lot of pressure. So what happens to all the little people? Uh, well, we don't know what's going to happen. I'm not saying it, anything's going to happen to the price. I really don't know. But the little people start finding out about, well, you know, if it's under pressure and and the transactions that are getting processed are 40 and $50 and all the smaller ones aren't, aren't and it's this, you know, costs this much even to, you know, to operate, they start to figure out that there's something else out there where they don't have to pay all this money and they can transact instantly and they don't have to wait. There's no congestion. Uh, and it's all on Vic. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been, uh, I've agreed not to reveal the actual, uh, the actual entities that are involved in doing, doing this with the Bitcoin core chain and what they're talking about and what they're doing. Uh, but it's out there. The information's out there. Okay. It's public. And, uh, you know, if you look hard enough, you could find it, but, uh, it seems like what's going on right now is there's a, there's just a big major, uh, a lot of smart people are going and a lot of very smart people are seeing the writing on the wall with the original Bitcoin protocol. And this whole court case thing, man, it's like just another, see, I mean, of course it's another distraction, right? So here I am, I right, pushing the distraction. So I'm just as guilty as everybody else, just a distraction. But you know, in the court case itself, the Satoshi case, you know, while it's, it's kind of de delaying the inevitable, all this pressure is building up on this very scarce asset. And the people that really have like the, um, you know, they actually kind of see the the idea that there's this this true scarcity behind it. It's hard to get. It's even more hard to get. It's going to be even much more harder to get in the future, and it will be likely neck to get in the future. Uh, I mean, who's going to be getting rid of it? I mean, I'm sure you could probably get it, but but it's going to be extremely high. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and my point is, is that it's just one of those things. It's a scarce, very, it's scarce now, and it's hard to get, but it's going to be even more scarce. And uh, I think people just don't want to talk about it. They don't want to know about it. They don't want people to know about it. And, you know, I don't even want to use the stupid name because I hate the name, but it's the original Bitcoin protocol. And there's no doubt about it. Uh, they're doing the transactions. You can, you know, I, you, I just showed you the, uh, I just showed you the, basically the kind of the scale of what's happening right now. And ultimately that's all I'm going to leave you with. There's just so much, it's just so massive. It's uh, the writing is on the freaking wall as the price goes down. Hmm. Price goes down. Well, it went down from where it was before. So, but for me, I, I'm I'm just not into the risky stuff. Uh, this this trading things. I don't want to be involved in in high risk uh, betting and all that. It's just not for me. You know, I'm in it for the for the long run and for the the scalability, the usability, and ultimately, it's ultimately just the main thing is the utility. Utility, utility, utility. All right. Like the video at the like button sure to subscribe more to come i want to talk a little bit about citizenship stuff coming up people are talking about oh they want to potentially give up their u.s citizenship that's the stupidest thing you could do there's a much better an easier more there's more there's there's more to talk about on that okay i don't want to say it's stupid my forgive me but it's expensive it's expensive to do that and i happen to know a little bit about it all right, so we're going to talk about that in the future as well. But uh, ultimately, this is going to be uh, coming at you, Gavin Mill. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you at the top.